Yes, the Android app support is coming back to Windows 11, but this time it's not the WSA, the Windows subsystem for Android. So as you guys know, when Microsoft announced the Windows 11, they also announced that Windows 11 will be able to run Android apps natively. And they shook hand with Amazon and they bring the Android app support. Now, the Microsoft is killing this feature. Uh, it's gonna be gone forever in 2025. But now they are shaking hands with the Tencent to bring Android app support to Windows 11. This is the official news blog post of Microsoft. It's in Chinese. Uh, I can actually translate this to English and hopefully this works. <laughs> so here you can see this translation is actually incorrect. <laughs> this app treasure is actually app store. Somehow the translation is just messed up here. So it's Tencent app store has reached a cooperation with Microsoft store and Windows can directly run mobile applications. You know what this means? Android app support is coming back to Windows 11. They are killing the WSA and Amazon App Store. Now they are shaking hands with Tencent and bringing the new type of Android system. Uh, I have actually already tested this. Actually, there is a way to test this right now. Uh, it's not fully integrated uh, with Windows 11 yet because you know it just happened recently. Tencent already have a Android subsystem ready for Windows 11. Don't worry, I'll show you as we go through this video. This Tencent App Treasure translation is killing me. It's Tencent App Store. Now, if you don't know what Tencent is, it's a huge, huge company who makes uh, games, apps, and all kind of stuffs. You know, there is this really popular uh, mobile game called PUBG. I mean, I'm pretty sure you already know about that. And there is also the Call of Duty mobile, and there are many other really popular games. Those games are made by Tencent. Now, if you search Tencent App Store on Google or Bing, doesn't matter. I'm using the Microsoft Edge, so yeah, it uses Bing by default, so it works uh, for the at least for this uh, demo, okay? <laughs> You'll find a couple of links here. The first link, uh, with the sj.qq.com is actually the Tencent App Store for PC. Now, obviously, I need to do a translation here. Come on, this time say App Store here. Uh, no, it still says Treasure. But if I do a translation with Google Chrome here, I think it's going to say App Store. I think Google translation is better. Yeah, here you can see app store yeah it's not app treasure <laughs> here you can see there is the mobile version of app store and there is the pc version of app store that you can download right now when you download the pc version of app store you can run android apps on your pc this is not something new you know we have android emulators out there bunch of them actually but this one works differently. It works kind of similar to the WSA. It feels like we are using a uh, Windows apps, even though we are using the Android apps. It's that good actually. So just for you guys, I actually installed it, okay? I took the risk. This is a Chinese app, but I'm doing it. I already did it actually. <laughs> Here in my start menu, you can see I have the app store installed here but sadly i couldn't figure out a way to change the language so it's still in chinese but i was able to test this out Th this thing actually runs really well just like wsa uh, i'm gonna actually open this just to show you guys how this thing works this is the tencent app store and here you can see we can download many many android apps and games even the microsoft excel is here <laughs> you know the android version of it i actually have a couple of apps installed here you can see some games and some apps even the tiktok is here i don't know the name of the game it's a sniper or something <laughs> game uh, I, I don't know i can't read the chinese but here it is it's working but the sad part is that almost every game and app require you to log in with either wechat or qq so i can't really play this game but you can see this is running and this is the interface of the app 
and uh, look at that this is the whole separate instance of uh, android that we are running right now and uh, here at the top we also have some controls keyboard uh, it looks like the controller fps counter we can also go full screen just like that look at that it just works instantly and we can also go into settings uh, i don't know which one is settings or oh, this one is settings here we can see we can change some cpu and ram settings but sadly i couldn't figure out a way to change the language and it looks like i think this is just for china for now there is no international variant of this but uh, this thing actually runs really well so you can see we also have key mappings and all that so this might be even better than wsa because you can do a key mapping and all that maybe this isn't the exact version of android system that we are going to get in windows 11 but i'm pretty sure it is going to be somewhat close to it so what's going to happen is this tencent app store is going to be available in microsoft store just like the amazon app store and with that we get the wsa windows subsystem for android so something like that is going to happen in future i don't know when or maybe it's already available in china and there is a chance that it might not even come to global market and that, that is going to be sad actually come on microsoft we also need the android app support for windows 11. it's it's kind of cool we loved using at least i loved using the uh, windows subsystem for android but sadly you're killing it but now there is a hope and uh, please uh, make this a global thing or maybe we need to request the Tencent. Tencent, come on, make this a global thing. Now, I have another example that I can give you guys. There is this really popular software from Tencent again, and this is called Game Loop, and they have the global variant of the software there is the chinese version there is also a global one with english and many other languages if you take a look at this software we can see actually we're going to compare it so here you can see they look similar they have same interface same everything okay let's go to the home page that's how we know that they, they look the same okay so here you can see they have the same interface but in my testing the tencent app store is better and faster smoother and everything because this game loop thing is actually made for gaming you can play really popular mobile games officially on your pc using this like the pubg mobile call of duty free fire and all that and i have one game downloaded here let me actually give you guys a demo when i launch this game okay we can do key mapping and all that it takes time to load the game and we can also access the android interface here we can go into the settings and we can actually see which version of android it's running so it's like an android emulator so there is the emulation happening so it's probably slower than wsa uh, in terms of performance but if you open a game or app in tencent app store let's say this game again it opens much faster okay probably uh, the android system is running all the time in the background just like wsa you can choose it to turn it off or on all the time so again just like in wsa now here is the game but here you can see we can't access the android system it's only the game in here and we have the all the key mapping and all that options here so it's much faster maybe it's not a emulation maybe tencent app store can directly utilize the hardware if that's the case this is definitely going to be faster i really want this android system uh, available globally i mean yeah wsa was good but uh, it looks like this Tencent App Store is going to be better. Maybe this isn't the exact version that we are going to get or maybe we will never get. Maybe it's going to be the China thing only, but I'm pretty sure this is going to be much better thing. I mean, Tencent is a big, huge company and they are really into mobile gaming. So they have PUBG Mobile, Call of Duty. They have official Android emulator to play those games. Now they are working with Microsoft trying to bring all the Android games and apps. And uh, this thing is definitely going to be better. I'm saying this again and again, but I believe that this thing is going
going to be better than WSA. It will have the key mappings and all that, and maybe it will run even better than WSA. Yeah. Um, for now that's it hope you enjoyed it if you still have any questions or you want to discuss something you can always do the comment and we can have some chit chat in the comment section too yeah that's it i'll see you in the next one take care of yourself and have fun bye bye